Hey everybody, welcome to our video series. We're gonna do a few different videos so that we don't have to do one ginormous video. This um, video series is gonna be called How to Rock 2017, and I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks and share some tools that I have learned about and found along the way and some resources, things that I've used to kind of help me prep to make this year amazing. So let's get started. This one, this video here is our tools. So I'm gonna just gonna give you a quick overview of all of the things, or at least most of the things that I'm using. And then I will um, kind of explain them more in the other videos. So just a quick overview of the tools that I use on mostly a daily basis. So first of all, um, just journals, prayer journals. Um, this is a, a journal where I just journal my prayers every day, and that's important. Obviously, we want to start with um, having conversations with God about what he wants us to do with our life and our business. That's the biggest, most important thing. And the, the other tools that we will talk about in um, the resource video um, will explain uh, some other things that will help you guide you through that process, too. So it's pretty awesome. Um, just another journal that I have that I'm going to use, and then um, another, just a variety of little journals that I've been using. Um, this one I use for my um, 10 goals, my 30-day 10 goal challenge, and I'll talk about that in another video. Um, this is going to be my uh, portable vision board. So I haven't done anything in it yet, but I'm going to fill this up with um, magazine cutouts, things that I've printed, things like that that I, that I can carry with me and look at on a regular basis because having it in front of our face is huge. Okay, so those are just kind of some generic tools. Now we're gonna get down to the ones that have like names on them, <laughs> more branded things. So my, my favorite planner, I don't know if you can see that, this is the Inkwell Press um, Classic Planner. Um, classic just means that the weeks are in vertical format. Um, they have another one that's called the Flex, where the days go across the page, so it's horizontal. Um, so I love this planner, and I'll tell you more why in, in one of the other videos. Um, power sheets, these are actually currently shelled out, um, but I'm going to give you some tips and tricks about that in our resources video. Um, they are going to, I think they're going to have some more of these available later in the year, and you definitely want to get these for next year for sure, but we will give you um, a shortcut hacks um, in the resource video, so watch for that. Um, another couple Inkwell Press um, notepads. This is the daily download, and so you go at the end of the day and you kind of check in with where you were, um, things you covered, make sure you got all of your stuff done, and start your to-do list for tomorrow. Kind of rate yourself about how you're feeling about how things are going. It's just a really good way to kind of end the day and get ready for the next day. Um, another one of my favorites is the Inkwell Press um, weekly sheet so you can kind of break this down and what I do I'll show you what I do with these two in another video um, and I also have that I didn't get it off the fridge but I have the um, desktop calendar on my refrigerator and I use that for our family calendar so those are like the paper products um, I also have an index card file and I'll explain this again in another video this is the um, she card so the scattered home executive you can look that up scattered home executive chore cards kind of thing and um, I'll explain that in another video as well. Um, some other lovely tools that I'm going to just dig out here real quick. Um, friction, erasable pens and highlighters. It's, I'll see if I can show you where it says that friction. F-R-I-X-I-O-N. And they, um, these are actually Japanese ones, so <laughs> you can't read it on there. But highlighters and pens, they're erasable. They're amazing. I use them a lot. Um, some other things that I've been using are my um, Studio L2E acrylic stamps. They've got some really fun ones. Um, as well as washi tape, of course, lots of different kinds. Um, I have my Crayola watercolors. I'll show you what I did with those later. Um, my Create What Matters sticker book. I haven't really been using that a lot. I don't really use stickers a whole lot, but a little and I also have these um, I'm not sure how you say that but I like these as well um, they're just not erasable so I don't use those a ton um, then I just have some random stickers and scissors and glue that kind of things in my little 31 
I just have it all kind of crammed in there. You can kind of see some of that in there. And of course, baby wipes to clean the stamps off. So um, that is pretty much my selection of tools. That's what I use on a daily, weekly basis, depending on which tool it is. Um, and I will kind of go through how I use those in one of the other videos, so stay tuned. I wanna to try to keep these fairly short, so um, I'm doing a few of them. Hope that helps, and that should get you started at least on what kind of tools to get. Again, you don't have to have these exact tools. I'll show you what I do with them, and then you can kind of figure out what's gonna work for you. So anyhow, hope that helps, and we'll see you soon.